Alhamdulillah everyone, you're almost there. You're almost there, okay? So, this will be uh, video number 4 for module 5, Digital uh, Security. So, uh, make sure you watch until the end of it, okay? But, uh, don't forget to uh, like uh, and comment uh, on this uh, video, okay? starting from the first uh, part of this video, so that I can improve my uh, videos in future. Bye! Okay, this will be the fourth part of this module 5 under Digital Security, Ethics and Privacy, Threats, Issues and Defenses. Now, let's look at the objectives first. At first, I will explain the options available for backing up your data or information. Next, I will identify the risks and safeguards associated with wireless communications. And last one, I will recognize issues related to information accuracy, intellectual property rights, codes of conduct, and green computing. So without further ado, let's start on the first slide. Supported against data loss caused by hardware or software or information theft or system failure, users should pick up computer and mobile device files regularly. Backup is a duplicate of a file, program, or media that can be used if the original is lost, damaged, or destroyed, and to back up a file means to make a copy of it. In the case of system failure or the discovery of corrupted files, you will restore the files by copying the backup files to their original location on the computer or mobile device. If you choose to back up locally, be sure to use high quality media. Keep your backup media in a fireproof and heatproof safe or vault or offsite. Offsite means in a location separate from where you typically store or use your computer or mobile device. Keeping backup copies offsite minimizes the chance that a single disaster such as a fire will destroy both the original and the backup media. An offsite location can be a safe deposit box at the bank, a briefcase, or cloud storage or cloud backup. Business and home users can perform four types of backup Full, differential, incremental, or selective A fifth type continuous data protection often is used only by large enterprises to backup data to an in-house network storage device purchased and maintained by the enterprise Cloud backup services, a sixth option, are providing continuous data protection capabilities at a lower cost some users implement a three-generation backup policy to preserve three copies of important files. In a transparent parent child backup scheme, full backups are made at a regular, daily or weekly intervals on removable media. The oldest safe backup is, a called, is called the grandparent, the next oldest is the parent, and the current backup is the child. When a new child backup is made, the previous child backup is retained as the parent backup. The parent backup becomes the grandparent backup and the oldest grandparent backup is discarded and its media often is used for a future backup. So this table on 5.2 summarizes the purpose, advantages and disadvantages of each of the of these backup methods, full, differential and incremental. So you can read further of this information in your textbook, page 5.21. Next is wireless security. Although wireless access provides many convenience to users, it also poses additional security risks. Some perpetrators connect to others' wireless networks to gain free internet access. Others may try to access an organization's confidential data. Some introduce, intercept, and monitor communication as they transmit to the end. Others connect to a network through an unsecured wireless access point or combination router or WPAP. Before I discuss on ethics and security, now let's discuss on the mobile security. The goal for mobile device users is to make their data as secure as possible. So what are the steps to be followed to protect sensitive and personal data and to fight mobile cybercrime? So we have plenty of uh, steps. First of all, the user must be extra cautious locating and downloading any apps in the mobile devices. Make sure you use the pin or turn off any GPS tracking or you also may use mobile security software 
and make sure you avoid creating any unsafe thing. Now, let's proceed with ethics and society. As with any powerful technology, computers and mobile devices can be used for both good and bad intention. The standards that determine whether an action is good or bad are known as ethics. Technology ethics are the moral guidelines that govern the use of computers, mobile devices, information systems, and related technologies. So the following section will discuss the issues related to information accuracy, intellectual property rights, codes of conduct, green computing, and information privacy. First, I will discuss on information accuracy. Information accuracy is a concept today because many users access information maintained by other people or companies. Do not assume that because the information is on the web that it is correct. Users should evaluate the value of a web page before relying on its content. In addition to concerns about the accuracy of computer input, some individuals and organizations raise questions about the ethics of using computers to alter output primarily graphic output such as retouch photo. As you can see in figure 520, this digitally edited photo shows a fruit that looks like an apple on the outside and an orange on the inside. Now I want to focus on intellectual property rights. Intellectual property or IP refers to unique and original works such as ideas, inventions, art, writings, processes, company and product names and logos. Intellectual property rights are the rights to which creators are entitled for their work. Certain issues arise surrounding IP today because many of these works are available digitally and easily can be redistributed or altered without the creator's permission. A copyright gives authors, artists and other creators of original work exclusive rights to duplicate, publish and sell their materials. A common infringement of copyright is piracy, where people illegally copy software, movies and music. This issue with copyright law led to the development of Digital Rights Management BRM, a strategy designed to prevent illegal distribution of movies, music and other digital content. Next, we have the Code of Conduct. A Code of Conduct is a written guideline that helps determine whether a specification is ethical or unethical or allowed or not allowed. An IT Code of Conduct focuses on acceptable use of technology. As you can see in Figure 521, these are the sample of IP code of conduct. Now let's proceed with green computing. Green computing involves reducing the electricity and environmental waste while using computers, mobile devices, and related technology. Figure 5.22 right now summarizes measures users can take to contribute to green computing. Personal computers, display, printers, and other devices should comply with guidelines of the Energy Star program. This energy star program is developed to help reduce to reduce the amount of electricity used by computers and related devices. This program encourages manufacturers to create energy efficient devices. Computers and devices that meet the energy star guidelines will display an energy star label. Enterprise data centers and computer facilities consume large amount of electricity from computer hardware and associated devices and utilities such as air conditioning, coolers, lighting, and etc. Therefore, organizations can implement a variety of measures to reduce electrical waste, such as consolidate servers by using virtualization, purchase high efficiency equipment, use sleep mode and other power management features, buy computers and devices with low power consumption and when possible, use outside air to cool the data center or computer facility. Some organizations continually review their power user effectiveness, which is a ratio that measures how much power enters the computer facility or data center against the amount of power required to run the computers and devices. So that's all for the uh, fourth part of this uh, module 5. So I will continue with the final part sooner. So make sure you always stay tuned with me. Bye.